So I had this video idea the other day where I react to weird ass job posts in the wild on Upwork. And this morning, as I was doing my daily browsing, I found the one. Put down the microphone. That was just for the dramatic effect. Let's get to the actual job post. We have it right here, and I just found it funny. I didn't read through the whole thing because I wanted to leave it for the reaction video. But essentially, this starts out by saying the title, Semi-Famous Actor Needs Social Media Management, which, okay, yeah, you're semi-famous, whatever that means. Not too much of a red flag, so I went ahead and opened it in a new tab as I do. By the way, this costs a shit ton of money to apply to. Are we surprised? Not anymore. And then it reads, I am extremely good and kind and fun communicator, which as I read that, I was like, sweet, great client, uh, let's go. But then they say, working for me is fun and I end up giving people way more than they expect once their hard work turns into company success. But also, I can't hold anyone's hand. I'm looking for someone who's the seventh at the technical side of social media. Hi. And looking for a brand that's already proven itself over and over to grow with. I only want to work with people that do things before I know I need them done. So, proactive person, we love that. To the point where I can't run the business without them and major upgrades in pay are inevitable. That to me, it's the first, I wanna say pink flag, like a slight red flag, but pink's too pretty. So it's the first orange one, like promising future success or future pay to me is, oh yeah, you're starting like working for peanuts and then if you prove yourself, I will pay you something. But anyway, but then they say, so this chat description may sound harsh, <laughs> but it's only to be clear on who should apply and not a reflection of a working dynamic. Here's the thing. I'm all for scaring off the wrong people. I think this the same is applicable for your social media content, for your upper profile, if you have a clear ideal client in mind, it's totally fine to write for that person and that person alone and even do some things that other people would be turned off by. That way, only the real ones want to work with you. But I don't know. Again, orange flag. Let's continue. Context. I have multiple accounts, some for models I manage, some for my personal comedy slash dance channel. So is this an actor, a comedian, dancer? all of the above. I personally have 350k followers on YouTube, 280k on Facebook, 93k on Insta, smaller on TikTok. One of my clients has 480k on Instagram. Weird flex, but okay. I need you to be whip crack at social media. I never read that word before, but I'm guessing it's like fantastic or something. Let's see. Act of producing a cracking sound through the use of a whip. Doesn't sound too good. I want it to be abundantly clear that you are forefront of every new social media trend and advancement. I don't want an email ever not returned by the end of the day and to not have to guide you on the ideal pacing of posts, etc. So you don't want not have to guide me i'm sorry i'm very harsh critic but yeah i i don't want not to have that's a no and a no equals a yes something like that anyway i will be supplying you with all content and there's going to be a lot if you are an absolute expert on e-commerce slash tiktok shop etc with the etc then great that's even better. You must be good enough at Photoshop that I can trust you to do basic but intuitive touch-ups on pictures and basic edits on video. Using Photoshop? Okay. If I said keep the picture looking real, only use clone stem to remove imperfections and get rid of ingrown hair. <laughs> what? 
also sharpen up the images that are out of focus. Then some basics, bright slash contract, contrast and saturation should be fine. Then all of that should make perfect sense to you. If it doesn't, I'll know quickly and end the job. Dun dun dun. You must also be good enough with Adobe Premiere. Thank God, he knows the difference. That if I give you a template project and I ask you to just use it to edit a new video together with new footage, that will make sense to you. In the beginning, it may only be one or two hours per day. Also, a lot has to do with what skills you have. I'm also in need of an all-around personal assistant, but if you don't currently use an AI LLM, minimum three times per day, then that won't be something to be concerned with. Lastly, if you don't believe that you deserve to end up being a wealthy hotshot at a big company, don't apply it. That may sound weird, but trust me, if there is something inside you that would feel guilty for becoming rich, then now is not the time for you and I to work together and I will be able to tell quickly if that's the case. That having been said, I look forward to meeting some awesome candidates and picking one to come along for a big, fat success ride. And then all of these cities, they want an expert for more than 30 hours a week working for, you guessed it, pennies on a dollar. But let me know down in the comments what you think about this. I don't know. Uh, again, nothing like blaringly bad but i just found it was interesting funny whatever and it rubbed me the wrong way in some parts so let me know your thoughts and i'll see you next time